We are hearing from the man who took the now viral video of the suspected shooter sharing his experience as the chaos unfolded on Saturday night. Fox 25's Keith Daniels takes us through his perspective. Well, the man who captured images of that suspected gunman on the roof that day says he believes law enforcement could have done more to stop that deadly shooting. His thoughts as he describes to me what he saw that day. There are images that won't soon be forgotten. Suspected killer, 20-year-old Thomas Crooks, on the roof of a building, taking aim. When I seen him holding the gun like he was taking aim, I thought, oh, my God, this guy's about to shoot into the crowd or something. So I, I turned my phone on. Mike DeFrishup said he started recording on his cell phone. The still photo grabbed from that video. Yeah, we had just got there a little bit late. He and his wife, Amber, live in Crawford County, Pennsylvania. They were at the Trump rally in Butler Saturday. They arrived late, so they sat outside of the secured area near the building where crooks waited. We were there maybe 10 minutes waiting for Mr. Trump to come on. And then after he came on and started to speak, my uh, wife shortly after he started nudged me and said, hey, what's going on behind us? And that's when we noticed some commotion. Now, where's that? Oh, my God. Yes. The friendship said he noticed crooks climbing the roof, then noticed he had a gun. They tried alerting police, then took cover. I kind of felt I could see the guy with my eyes. I knew where he was at. I got me and my wife behind a big tree, and I felt that we were safe. Then you see the gun, you're like, oh, my God, we have to hide. But there's nowhere to hide. There yeah, was a couple trees to hide behind. So you didn't know whether to hit the deck or run or just stand still. It was, It's very chaotic in them split seconds. If you uh, want to really see something this Chaos sad, take after gunfire. <laughs> A bullet grazed the former president's ear. Mr. Trump narrowly escaping a more serious, possibly even fatal blow. But one man in the crowd is killed, two others wounded. Secret Service snipers take down crooks, killing him. It was devastating to us, I mean, to know that we watched a guy shoot somebody and also even the shooter, I mean, we watched him get shot right in front of us. I mean, we seen it, we seen the aftermath. The couple believing something more could have been done to prevent the tragic shooting, talking now about who, besides the shooter, should be held accountable. People yeah. are trying to say the local cops and this and that might not have done their job. And in, in my opinion, and I haven't put this out anywhere else besides now, now that it's been a couple days, we're processing some of this. You know, it, it's Secret Service's job to keep terror of the president. Well, after what happened, Mrs. DeFrisha says she doesn't believe that she will be going to any more rallies, but her husband says he will, believing what happened was an isolated event. Reporting tonight, Keith Daniels, Fox 45 News.